Trouble is mounting for news portal News Click as after the arrest of its editor in chief Parbir Prokazista and uh, HR head Amit Chakravarti, investigation and questioning are on. This, remember, is apart from the digital evidence that was seized of uh, some of other staffers and journalists associated with the News Click. So, here's what's been happening in the past few hours with regard to this mega investigation. India Today has accessed the remand copy of News Click founder Prabir Purgastha, who was arrested under the UAPA. Delhi police in the copy has stated it has a trail of about 4 lakh emails sent between uh, the editor-in-chief and the HR head. Emails allegedly show that the two conspired to create discontent within the society while sympathizing with banned Naxal and terror groups. Prabir Purkhyastha and Amit Chakravarti allegedly discussed plans to show Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh as not a part of India and as disputed areas. Delhi police has also alleged and claimed that Prabir Prakastha, the editor-in-chief, tried to sabotage 2019 elections and discredit government policies during COVID-19. Meanwhile, amid all of this, the News Click has issued a statement claiming the government treats criticism also as anti-national agenda, further adding that no news was published at the behest of China and all the fundings received were through legal banking channels. Listen in to the reactions coming in. That is an attack on freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of media. That only shows that they are so much afraid of what is happening in the country, how people think about them. It is the fear that uh, makes them act like in these unlawful ways. All right, so this is a big investigation that's presently on. And uh, remember, there were some protests also organized yesterday evening. And now it is up to the investigation and eventually up to the courts to decide. India Today has accessed the remand copy of the Delhi police. And here's what it states. I'm quoting from the document here on. Now, here's one of the main points that it has said, that there were discussions taking place between the editor-in-chief and HR head and trying to show... Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh not as a part of India to deliberately show it as disputed regions. The shareholder Gautam Navlakha, who is an extreme uh, left-wing activist that he worked with uh, Naxal groups and specifically banned Naxal groups that he was associated with and was in touch with. Navlakha had a nexus with ISI agent Gulam Nabi Fai. Gulam Nabi A is not based in India, he's based abroad and has done a lot of anti-India, pro-Pakistan narrative on Kashmir. Prabir Purkayasta, the editor-in-chief of News Clisk, who's been arrested, had routed Chinese funds allegedly to Navlakha and others. So getting funding from somewhere and diverting it to Navlakha and his plans according to the remand copy. Foreign funds used to disrupt uh, peace during the farmers' protest. So that's also a fresh attempt that was being made, that the farmers' protest being funded deliberately to create more unrest and disturbances. Let's get you other details as well. Prabhi tried to sabotage the 2019 elections as well. And that was also during the COVID pandemic that had come for the next year, that there was deliberate targeting of government policies during the COVID-19. So these are some of uh, the mentions that have been made in the remand copy of funding that had come in and it was distributed to some suspicious elements. My colleague Shreya Chatterjee got the first access to the remand copy and I'm bringing her now in this live telecast. Shreya, over to you because Delhi police with all these allegations will have to provide evidence to. What are your sources telling you that uh, are they confident of the evidence that is available to them and the background and the history that they are alleging specifically with regard to Gautam Navlakha here who allegedly received the funding that was meant for news click? Well, uh, you know, Pooja, Gautam Navlakha was actually, uh, is actually one of the shareholders since 2018 with News Click. Now, Gautam Navlakha uh, allegedly uh, was also what the Delhi police suggests, uh, uh, conspiring with ISI agents in urban Naxals. And he had also received the funds which was routed to him by Prabir Porkaista, which came to Prabir Porkaista, Amit Chakravarti and the likes of others in the news click uh, through the Chinese organization, which is also at the behest of Neville Roy Singham. Now, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the allegation so far as the fund and the uh, routing is concerned. Now, the other big part, why the big question that came from the very first day, why UAP was slapped. Now, that the Delhi police suggests that they have evidence on hand which directly points out that they were uh, conniving to actually show uh, Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh not a part of uh, India as a disputed uh, 
uh, part of India. That was one allegation. They were, there was a, a sabotage of the 2019 election, allegedly. Uh, the farmers' protest, the funds used were actually tried to disrupt public property. Uh, so these are the multiple allegations that have been mentioned in the uh, remand copy. This is primarily something that has to be proven in yeah, court. The no, Delhi no. police suggests they have email conversations between Neville Roy Singham, Prabir Purkaisa discussing about creating maps showing uh, Kashmir and uh, Arunachal Pradesh is disputed part of India. So once that is happening, the other part, you know, today we also know that both uh, Paranjay Gothakut and Abhishek Sharma, they have also been called for uh, questioning again. So trouble continues to mount on news click. Obviously, the onus of providing evidence lies on Delhi police is why primarily they have sought the remand uh, of both uh, the arrested Amit Chakravarti and Praveer Purkaisa. They also have digital dumps that have been retrieved, 4.27 lakh email uh, conversations. Mm. All these, the Delhi police are now, uh, I mean, digitally scrutinizing that uh, likely they will be producing in the court, Puja. All right, Shreya Chatterjee is on top of the story and she'll be tracking all the latest on this big investigation that's on. Now I tell you what the news click had said. News click has also given out a statement ever since its editor-in-chief and HR head were taken into arrest, specifically with regard to the funding that is received through mysterious channels. Now, according to news click, government treats even basic criticism as anti-national agenda, and that is being seen as anti-national when they were criticizing simply the government, is what the news click statement has said. Going on it further adds that... Uh, no news was published at the behest of China because the whole allegation is they received funding from China and a businessman based in China to push out pro-China and anti-India propaganda. Singham, uh, Neville Roy Singham, the businessman based in China who, was, who had put in about 38 crore rupees, does not have a say in content for news click according to the statement that has been received. So they are saying that we are completely independent of any pressures of funding that has come in. The funding received though are all through legal banking channels and there is nothing illegal about the funding that has been taken in by News Click. These are important mentions that are coming in, remember, because they've also alleged that our electronic devices of all employees seized. So everyone who was questioned, even though they were not taken into arrest, their electronic devices, which means a mobile phone and a laptop, were seized by the Delhi Police Special Cell. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters, it's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.